All right, I'm gonna give her my review of the Series XM 360L. Had this thing for a year or over a year. Um, the quick thing I would say about it is if you have a Sirius XM satellite radio already, and you're only just looking to upgrade it because it's new, but if you like the one you currently have, I recommend just keep the one you have. Um, it's all right. I like it. I enjoy it. But I like the older one better. Um, one, it takes forever to start up. I'm sure if you've looked at other videos that they've pointed it out pretty much all of them. Um, and it comes with the uh, built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, vehicle dock, magnetic um, antenna, power adapter, auxiliary cable, mounting accessories, quick start guide. Um, yeah, you pretty much use that right out of the box. But see, it's still starting. Most other radios have been already connected. Um, the Wi-Fi, you have to use your own device. Like, I'm using the Wi-Fi from my phone. Which, you would think for how much this device costs, and it's just satellite radio, that they would just build it into their system. I don't know, charge an extra $5 a month fee or something on top of it. But they didn't. Um, let's see. Uh, honestly, it's just... It's okay. The... the Android system that it's using is really old. It's like the first gen Google One phone. It's uh, it stutters. It stutters a lot. Well, not a lot. It's just you don't get that full swipe. Let's see. Go to my my favorites. Sometimes they don't even pop up. So you got your favorite saved. You load it up, and sometimes it'll be like just this icon right there. Nothing else. It'll be blank. So you have to turn it off, start it back up. Um, see, what I, see what I mean? So you go swipe. You have to do like a full... It's like an old school G1 phone, like the first generation Android. No, you would expect this to be smooth. Now, these other channels that say unavailable, that's where... Actually, I don't know. I guess they're discontinued channels for the moment because I have... Whoa. Well, I had... You saw at first there was an icon right there. Um, I had my Wi-Fi connected, but I guess it disconnected. Which is stupid because you have to go in here. And basically, you have to go and manage settings, configure. Oh, wait, no, no. Swipe. And then it says connection Wi Fi. On but not connected. So I'll go to configure, go to scan. And there I am. connect and I say it's it's goofy it's some this, this is this is hard to explain is you would think this system would run better but um, there is this that that's not let's go back home there's it. Oh, look. Oh. But there's the icon I was talking about. You have these icons to get to certain stations, certain genres that you like. I like the sports section. Like you go to live sports. I'm sure there's just probably nothing playing, nobody playing anything right now. But go. I 
guess there's no live sports going on. But you go to these channels. This is how you scroll through. You can slide or you can do the channel. Press the button. You got direct tune. If you know your stations right off the bat, you can just type in the number, press go. Um, like I said, the, the Pandora is locked behind a paywall. Let me see, hold on. I'm trying to keep a little bit off screen because it has my device numbers on there, which probably already picked up on there. And that's the only way to accept the to get access to the Pandora is that you have to have the top, top, top tier, the highest tier possible of their plan, which gives you access to Pandora on the device. Now you see how there's music playing. I know you don't hear it. I don't have the vehicle on. So the stereo's not turned on, but you know, this is on. Um, if you have older devices, usually there's a play bar. You know what I'm saying? You, you pause, you know, unpause it, fast forward, rewind. But you see, if you fast forward your rewind, there's no music bar. Okay. Now, go to Pandora. Yeah. Voice command. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Go to Pandora stations. Now, let's just keep sweat for the moment. And even on top of that, sometimes it takes time for it to load up. I've had times to where it just didn't load, just stayed on the screen, then I just go and switch stations and come back. But what I was getting to is that you see the time bar. What is that for? On Pandora, you can't slide through the music. You can't just fast forward. Oh, nope. Right? You can skip to the next song, but there's no bar. I mean, there's a bar. But when you go to your regular stations, there's no bar. So if you go to rewind, you don't know how far back you want it to go. Like, let's say somebody said something and you want to go back 10 seconds to see what they said again. You don't know how long to hold the thing. You give it a tap, you might go to the whole beginning of the, the song, which I think is stupid. They need an update or something for this. But like I said, I had this over a year and it has yet to receive an update. Sirius XM doesn't care about this device. They just want you to buy it, to play music. They want people that feel like it's a step up in the new the new thing you know touch screen and everything else like you see what's built into the cars so I honestly I would skip this device um, get the other ones that have the buttons um, I forget the name of it but you have like one through zero one through nine and zero at the end um, they have a built-in memory. You can set two settings, like an A and a B. But if you know your primary stations, usually when you first turn on the device, it starts saving them. I like mine was always like shade four or five and whatever else. And the memory is built in for at least, I think, the five first five stations. So I could just be listening to something else, talk radio. And then maybe I want to go back and see what they've been playing on the last hour. A shade four or five and just go pop on my favorite go over there go back a whole hour and we listen to it this doesn't do that this doesn't save your other stations for the time that you're not listening to it so in a way it's kind of a downgrade from the previous devices um again it's, it's all right if you don't have a device uh, Sirius XM and it's going to be your first one it, it's good it's alright but 
for paying top tier, you have to use your own device just to get Pandora. The Bluetooth, yeah, if you got the stereo for it, great. But, you know, what's different from you just using your phone? If you already got to use the internet and you got Bluetooth in your car, just get the phone, use the phone, pay for the phone tier. I think it's like five bucks and use that instead of spending $30 a month. Uh, yeah, it sounds stupid. But now I'm thinking about it, but my, I got an older stereo, so it doesn't have Bluetooth in it. Um, I usually like playing music. Somebody calls, I still like to listen to music in the background, so that's why I kind of don't do it. But um, okay, it's slow to start, like I said. Let's go the favorites button. Like I said, these are your, your settings. You do the different genres this is your menu for the sub stuff i don't know why i keep swiping um the other thing is when you're listening to music and you want to create your own pandora station you can only create your pandora station off of music that's playing over the radio like it has the ability to create a keyboard when you first start it up and set it up there's a keyboard that pops up but when you want to go set up a pandora station there's no keyboard you have to like there's have to be an artist playing that you want that you like and then you tap on that artist and that's how you create a a pandora station Let's see. Let's go to uh, let's go to Turbo. It's one of my favorites. Let's see. You click on them. I don't want to do any of that. But let's say go to related Metallica. Then create Pandora station for Metallica. That's the only way. So you have to wait for the stations to play an artist that you like so if you're like an old school artist that hardly ever gets played but let's say they have a good music collection lots of albums and stuff but they're just not making anything now you're not getting your uh pandora station on here unless you're like listening all the time and then at that moment you have to be thinking about it so it's not worth it you might as well just have the app the pandora app um Again, this is like my review. It's pretty much the same with everybody else's. Long start. Um, you get all the tool, power thing, antenna, and stuff. But that's using a device. I don't recommend you needing to get it if you already have a satellite radio. If you need to upgrade, get one of the ones with the push buttons on it, um, with the button memory. You don't need this one. Like I said, you go to the, the favorites. Like, honestly, these just popped up yesterday. I was driving the past two days before the yesterday, and this was blank. So I had to go through my stations and find them one by one this way. So, yeah, that's it. That's that's it. This is the Tour Satellite 360L. You see the box kind of worn. Um, yeah, that's it. Not. I'm disappointed, really. So not really worth it. Um, gonna keep it for a while. I get a new stereo. Some of Bluetooth in it. I'm a downgrade. I might just go just the phone or I might just push the service on the stereo and pay it, definitely pay a cheaper price but yeah this is like cheap hardware bad software you know, you're just playing radio stations and it's it's crazy that one it takes so long for this thing to start up and then it lags like it does and then they offer no upgrade and you know just some of the things in the settings is, is crazy but anyways 
that's gonna be it um hope you enjoyed the video hope i gave you enough information whatever um and hey good luck on your choices thank you